to Telecom proudly presents The Entrepreneur, the TV show that will determine new pioneers with groundbreaking business ideas. The winner of the competition will be awarded 2 million dirhams, which includes 1 million dirhams investment from Do, a telecom's bundle of business services supplied by Do, one year's free office space courtesy of Silicon Oasis founders, an advertising and PR package from the Leo Burnett Group, mentoring and networking support provided by WAMDA, 12 months of advisory and consultancy assistance from Ernst & Young, free media and editorial from CPI. Welcome to The Entrepreneur, and it really is crunch time now for our 10 semi-finalists. You'll remember that in previous episodes, we put them through a variety of exclusive business workshops where, of course, they were helping to hone their pitching skills ahead of their pitch for their future. Now, what can we look forward to today? Well, they will go in front of our panel of judges who are looking for those that impress most to go through to the final stages, because 10 must become three. This is The Entrepreneur, and of course, I'll be heading on down to the pavilion downtown Dubai just to get an idea of the atmosphere, the tension, and of course, see those pitches up close and personal. In the meantime, let's meet the judges. An entrepreneur is a persistent person who knows what he wants to do. is what I'm looking for in the winner of The Entrepreneur. For me, the greatest entrepreneur is always and most definitely a good leader. A person with a strong work ethic. The entrepreneur that I will be choosing will have to be innovative and passionate. So here we are at the Pavilion downtown where of course our judges have assembled to meet our 10 semi-finalists yet again. Let's see if our first contestant, Chris Barber, who last time wore what he believed in, is ready. Chris Barber. The chances are that you're all wearing an item of clothing made from polyester. Well, the good news is that same item of clothing could actually be made using recycled uh, plastic bottles. We are about to launch a revolution on the clothing and textile industry. I just want to show you a few slides, sorry, of the process. We work with CSR divisions of many companies who are looking for an environmental and uh, eco clothing range. We're very competitive on price to conventional fabrics and we have a very sustainable business model. It is our plan in the next five years to establish our business here in the UAE and develop a fully vertical manufacturing plant. What is the total investment requirement? Overall, it's $50 million. $50 million? Yeah. And what this one million will do for you? This one million will give me uh, some capital in order to employ some staff. Um, at the moment, I'm just on my own here. We're manufacturing in the Far East. So we definitely learned some things in terms of slow down, be articulate, enunciate your words. Uh, quickly on the scalability side, we're looking at B2B and B2C. What I mean by B2B is the fact that we have tons of people that look to our website to book out facilities. So not only do we organize sport, but people reach out to us and say, hey, I don't want to play in your five-a-side football league, I actually want to book a facility. So I think there's a huge opportunity on that side because there's tons of schools, hotels that have excess inventory that can monetize their business by using our site. Uh, the second thing on the B2B side is the fact that we have coaches, trainers, yoga instructors saying, hey, how can I use your network of people to improve my own business? Would you say that your business is growing? Absolutely. So I think uh, the kind of the cool thing about, uh, I think, sport in general and the fact that we've been able to do is we started this sort of in the cusp of the recession and uh, sport is pretty recession-proof. So we literally started with 20 of our friends 
and a few strangers, and now we have almost 35,000 members. And so if you were to expand into different regions, you'd have to open offices in those? Yeah, I think we, I mean, you want to answer that? No, go ahead. I think we want to be as lean as possible. So we talk about scalability and high margins, but at the same time, we can't duplicate everything in these new cities. In terms of delivery context, Dr. Amanda's workshop influenced what I'm going to say today. Green Mirror has three objectives. Save water, save energy, save money. Water is our most precious resource. Though 80% of the Earth's surface is water, less than 1% is fresh water for human consumption. We tested our technology at Khalifa Park over a one-year period. Rashid, you're repeating yourself today, by the way. Uh, we would like to hear something different than what you've presented last time. But do, do you want me to just complete, complete the three-hour um, aspect of it? OK. So over that, that one-year period, we did save um, the park 46% water. So assume you're very successful, and you've now, uh, what, are you going, what is your business plan, actually? Well, the business plan is number, I, 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 sorry, I'm repeating again, but it largely is the municipality is our main, main client. But we would also like to go to the private developments, the private sectors, and get out to the home associations and the villas. Yeah, I meant the numerical plan, as in how many units you would manufacture, what you would sell, what right. would be your return on investment, and hence what would be your profits. We've done five-year projections, mm. um, because we don't know what's going to happen with, with a governmental entity. Today, the judges will feel and will see something different. My idea is the smart school bus. Parents can monitor children, security of their children, anywhere, anytime. This way, they will have a peace of mind. The smart school uh, solution will focus on the security of the children automatically, not depending on the uh, bus driver, and this will eliminate the uh, possibility of a human error. We have integrated six, seven different hardwares into the application to achieve our goals. This is our system, and uh, that's it. Welcome back to The Entrepreneur, where, of course, we're into the semi-final stages. We've seen four business ideas. There are six still to come, as, of course, we whittle it down to the three finalists before the end of the show. Coming up next with his Fly Connect idea, Abdulkhani Sina. So I've been watching you pacing up and down, practicing, rehearsing your lines. Does that mean that you've changed your pitch? Yeah, basically I had to change uh, my pitch and uh, hopefully I'm going to present it as exciting as it is. As they say, it's now or never. The USB flash, through the past decade, the USB flash device has been relatively stagnant with no major improvement to the technology. The technology is still struggling with the fact that a computer is always needed to transfer any file between two USB holders. I'm here to present the next generation of USBs, FlyConnect. FlyConnect is the world's first wireless-enabled USB flash device with a mini screen. You can select any file at any time and send it wirelessly on the fly. Uh, the USB flash device enables you to skim through the content of your USB and to check the remaining capacity of your flash drive. FlyConnect connects you on the fly. That's our slogan. Thank you. Wow, super fast you are. Why should we say yes to you? Basically, there is a need in the market that is not yet satisfied. And for you, uh, you're just going to be marketing this. You're, you're, not, you're not the stakeholder. You're not the pioneer in this. Yeah, you're just we, we, invented, this idea. We, invented, we invented this technology. It's not present in the market. Yeah, let me, let me ask you one more thing. Tell me about the profitability scenario on this. Of course, of course. What we did is we did the breakdown for our next five years about how much can we make money. So the first year, end of 2013, whenever the device will be available in the market, we are targeting only to make 10,000, selling 10,000 units. 
You can sell a lot more than that. I know, but I don't want to be so exa exaggerating mm -hmm. to not to look that I'm going to be a multi But you're pitching to people who know, I know this I industry well. I know, but I like to be humble. I like to keep my feet Well, you may say you're conservative, but I think that maybe you've not done your market study. I believe that the, the new revised version is a lot more accurate, more to the point, and hopefully the message will be a lot clearer. UAECompare.com is an online search and comparison tool for home services, business services, and insurance services as well. Now to date, we're already proving to save our clients time, money, as well as drastically reducing the risk involved when they choose to go with a UAE Compare pre-approved contractor. Now on the insurance side of the business, we have developed a technology that is so advanced that we can actually provide our clients with multiple quotes from leading insurers direct to their inbox. All they need to do is fill out one simple online form. And the whole process itself takes less than the time it takes to boil an egg. So you mentioned the profit margin. Mm -hmm. Is it the focus or is it the volume that's the focus? Um, for the first quarter, what we wanted to do, because this was a new concept to the region, um, and we're introducing a technology that isn't here, we needed to make sure that we were developing it at a pace that was suitable to the audience. From that side of things, we just wanted to make sure we had the product right. Now that we've got it right, or we're very close to getting it right, it's all about volume. Where do you make your money? We make our money from the broker, well, not the broker, the insurance companies. Because what happens- So they pay you for this? No, no, no. The insurance company pays the broker, and we take an even commission split on the, the revenue generated. Who will split his commission with you? The broker. Why should he? He already does. Because for him, his break-even point is 18 car insurance policies a month. We can do that in one day. So as long as I'm providing him with 18 car insurance policies a month minimum, he's happy to work with us. I really like your confidence. Well, thank you very much. We're feeding the judges the information that they want to hear. Uh, you know, we, we thought if we were in their position, what would we do? Then again, the way we put it into perspective, the way we sell the idea to the judges. Uh, a link is a company that offers personal assistant hours in the form of packages to young busy professionals. And what we believe uh, makes us unique and will contribute to our success is multifactorial. Uh, first, we believe that we are targeting a, we are catering to a target market that hasn't been catered to. Uh, employers today are leaner given the circumstances and employees are stretched. So um, the, evident, the need is evident all around us. One question, uh, and uh, what do you do guys, both of you? You're, you're employed or? We are full-time employees as well. Both of you? Yeah. And would one of you leave his job and make this really a success? Because till date, how long you've been running this? For about a year and uh, four months. You did not make that call, yeah? Yes, So correct. We've used all our personal funds in this. If we didn't believe in this, we wouldn't put our personal funds in it. And we have to continue to inject money monthly into this, and that's why we have to commit to full-time jobs. Uh, if we had the liberty of focusing on that and having uh, some cushion. Let's assume you've, you won this prize. Assume. Would one of you leave his job and be 100% on this? If this, we currently have a full management team running the, the, the operations and the I don't expansion. care about the management team. I'm talking about the entrepreneurs behind it. Mm -hmm. Would one of you leave his job and be 100% on this? Yes. That's a definite yes, yeah? That's a definite yes. I have practiced and practiced and practiced, so I will do my very best. e -couture. the fusion of E and me. The, the exact moment at which you can actually take an accessory and create it into whatever you want it to be. Ecotour is a revolutionary new product that leverages the very latest in e-paper technology to enable people to continuously reinvent themselves by downloading and displaying images onto attractive as well as affordable accessories using their mobile devices. We at eCouture believe we can take the current customizable market and take it from 8% to 25% by really attracting the interest and excitement of generations X, Y, and Z who have grown up with technology integrated in their everyday lives. We will also take this market and we will simply take this market and we will take it and we will revolutionize what we're doing with the jewelry industry. Thank you.
Yes, well, you, 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 you think that uh, this is more gizmotic rather than actually uh, you know, performing product. I really don't think it's a gizmotic device at all. I actually think it would be a real product that would be just another material for fashion jewelry. Where, where ca can I find this product? The idea is to sell online initially. Excuse me, but this is very much a product where someone has to touch and feel and experience it. Yes, yes. Uh, in order to actually buy it. That's so I completely disagree with you when you okay. say okay. online. But Especially in the Middle East. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yes, that makes sense, and that's a good yeah. idea. Actually. Yeah. Sorry, we'll our time's that. up. Okay. Anyway, thank you. Thank, thank, thank you very much. Good luck. We have established that five times a day, 365 days of the year, millions of Muslims worldwide are forced to conduct their wudu process in unhygienic, unsafe, and in undignified conditions. Now, we've also established that our wudu right unit is a creative and innovative solution to resolve that problem. We can install a wudu right unit into schools, hospitals, mosques, any facility at all, including direct into home. And this gives us a tremendous opportunity worldwide. We don't just want to go global. Of course, we're going to be judged on building a brilliant brand. And we believe with the Wudu right name, we have that brand and we have that product. What is stopping you today from marketing this? I need legislation change. I'm not going to be able to do it on my own. Why do you need the legislation for such thing? because it's very difficult to sell it otherwise on a one-by-one -one basis. I need the volume first to kick it off. Then we create the brand, we build that brand. Why you didn't start with that, of selling the concept, selling units at least? Because we're selling one-by-one, -one, and the model is not built on one-by-one -one sales. It won't work for us. So let's assume you get an order for 3,000 units. Yeah. Can, you, can you go to a bank and finance that back-to-back? -back? If I didn't have your money, I can actually finance it myself. No, okay. maybe you don't need the money, you just need the publicity. Mm. And we're done. Thank you, James. <laughs> we're Thank done. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. 2012 has been a fantastic year for me. I was reborn an entrepreneur, wanting to do something. And why, you may ask? Because 30 years in the Middle East can get you somewhat disappointed. I was frustrated with the lack of progress on issues that mattered most to my heart, which are providing opportunities for our youth and the integration of women into the workforce. So I decided to do something, and I created Nabbish. Nabbish is only a tool, it's only a platform, and the people, the users, are the stars. Nabbish capitalizes on the fact that people are social. So we want to connect people together in a productive way that helps them find work opportunities. All you need to do is sign up, list your requirements for free. It's as simple as that. Nabish is a proud, very proud Arab startup, and it deserves to show its worth. I would like to thank you very much for this opportunity, and I would like to wrap up with a quote that has really inspired me. It's a quote by Napoleon Hill, and it says, whatever the mind of man can conceive, and believe it can achieve. Thank you. How you will make money? Okay, we have three ways to make money. Initially in 2012, we're starting with the, the most obvious way, which is uh, advertising. Okay, so we, we have the opportunity to do targeted advertising because we can target to a specific- Lulu, who's advertising today? Sorry? Who's advertising today? Everybody, especially online advertising. Most of the big companies are moving online. Uh, and we are an online platform, and there is a real lack of online platforms in this region. What, so what makes people decide to advertise on a specific website? Uh, the target audience. How big is that? Currently, currently it's 500 people. How big is your anticipating, forecasting? Uh, Hopefully a lot. Um, I have the figures, but I, I don't have them in, uh, in mind, to be honest. Yeah. Thank, All right. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Good yes, thank yes. you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Now it's time for the judges to decide who's remaining in the competition.
I disagree with Abdul Basit totally. He was saying the same thing. No, he was not. He's adding $10. No, he's adding. He's I adding $10. I know. I know. Maybe his speed was not good. Test. Not this that This is idea. a very big test. Innovation. It's good. Invention. New way of doing things. New way. Inspiring. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's good. It's good. But the decision is not an easy one. And so the moment of truth beckons. Who will be taking one step closer to being crowned the entrepreneur? Congratulations to each and every one of you for coming this far in the competition. Please can I ask the representatives of the following business ideas to take one step forward. Fly Connect. A link. E Couture. Would you write? and Nabesh. We have to ask the other five business ideas to leave. Thanks for being with us. And a quick reminder that of the five remaining business ideas, three have been selected. Could I please ask the representatives of Nabesh, would do right and a link to step forward. Lulu, the judges have decided you deserve the chance to become the next entrepreneur. You are in to the final three. Congratulations. James, Leo, my judges believe that you have an amazing product that could change things around the world. That belief has resulted in them not putting you through to the final three. Thank you very much indeed for being with us. Thanks for your hard work. Guys, thanks for being with us. Faisal and Mohammed, have you done enough? The judges think that you have the through to the final three. Congratulations. So we have two finalists already decided. There is one place remaining and two business ideas. Abdulhani, according to the judges, you're through to the final three. Rima, so close. It is very tough to let you go. Thank you for being with us. Please do join the rest of the crew and thank you. Thank you. Guys, the serious stuff starts now. Get ready to get down to business. Thank you again for all your hard work and thank you for tuning in to The Entrepreneur. Make sure you tune in next time to see how our three finalists fare under new challenges and new mentors. You've been watching The Entrepreneur. Good night.